believe in God. Whatever you do, believe in God. There are people in this world who have placed their faith, their belief in the systems of this world. They believe in a lot of things. But my brothers and sisters, do not believe in your job. Because today you can have that job, tomorrow it can be taken away. But believe in the God who gave you that job. Believe in Jesus. Believe that God will give you even a better job. Even more, he will make you a boss. Believe that God will provide for you a company for yourself. That you will start hiring people. Believe in God that you will stop living in the car. And he will provide for you a house. Because I know there are some people who are watching me right now. That are homeless. But believe in God that you will get out of that situation. Do not place your faith in in people because people will disappoint you but god will never disappoint you because god's word is true do not believe in your families do not believe in your relatives or your your friends who are around you there are some people that i'm talking about right now who have placed their belief in doctors just because the doctor has spoken a word does not mean that it is the truth. The truth is Jesus. When the doctor speaks a word about your health, yes, it may be true that you have that disease. Yes, it may be true that that disease is make, weakening you. It has made you ill. But go back to the word of God. What does God say about you? That by his stripes, you were healed. That means healing had already taken place. So speak the word of God to your condition, to that problem, to that problem that has been there for so long, and the word will work for you. The scripture says that so might it grow in the word and prevail. So the more you grow in the word, you will prevail. Meditate on the word day and night. Do not let a day pass by you. Without meditating on his word. Because it is the food that you need. Brothers and sisters. Believe in God. Today's word is from the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 to 7. Genesis chapter 15 verse 6 to 7. It speaks of a powerful man of God. A faithful man of God. Who believed in God. And the scripture reads. Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. He also said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to take possession of it. Powerful statements that are spoken out, that are written down. Now the scripture says, Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteous. Notice his name was still Abram. He was still Abram. And you know that Abram, his name was later on changed to Abraham. There was a difference between Abram and Abraham. The Abram who believed in God is different from the Abraham who believed in God. But the scripture says he believed in God and it was credit and he credited it to him as righteousness. He just believed and it, it was credited to him as righteous. So brothers and sisters, righteousness is not what you think it is. A lot of people think that to be righteous, you have to do a lot of things. A lot of people have tried to do things that they cannot even uh, do them, that they feel that is a burden to them and they think that they are righteous. And they think that the things that they do will make them righteous. The way you perceive righteousness is not the way God perceived righteousness. The scriptures already told you that Abram believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. So believe, believe in God and he will credit to you as righteousness. In other words, believe in Jesus and you will be righteous. That's it. It's not a whole process. It is not a complicated process. 
It is just believing in God. Believing in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You do not receive your own righteousness, but you receive the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Because notice that the righteousness that you have, if you do not have Jesus, the righteousness that you have, your own righteousness will never save you. Jesus came that you may have life. Jesus came that you may not perish because he loves you so much. So much that you cannot even imagine how much love he has for you. He loves you. So when you receive him, you become righteous. In other words, being righteous means to be in a right standing with God. That is it. Not a complicated statement. So, uh, verse 7 says, He also said to him, who said to him? God said to him, Abraham, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to take possession of it. Probably Abraham didn't know that it is the Lord that, that brought him out of uh, the land of the Chaldeans. Some of you, you have been in a land of the Chaldeans. You have been in a land where people are diabolic. But God is reminding you. God is telling some of you that he will take you out of that land. And some of you are out of that land. Some of you are out of that thing. You may not even know that it was God. Sometimes the things of God, we miss them out that it is God. We miss the signs that it is God who has done it. We forget, we easily forget him. We may think that it is somebody who has done it for your good. Just because you met a stranger who was of help to you, who gave you a word of encouragement, it may not mean that it is that stranger who is doing it. Yes, he is doing it, but God is using that. Can you recognize God in the midst of your storm? Can you recognize God in the midst of the fire? Brothers and sisters, God is will take you out of that land. That, that, that land may not be an actual land that I'm speaking of. It may be a, a place where you find yourself filled with pain. It may be sickness. You have been crippled down. You have been bedridden. It may be frustration. You get into this relationship. It ends up. You keep on changing spouses like as though you change shirts it seems like you do not have peace at your home it seems like today when you get money tomorrow it is lost tomorrow it is used up and when you start calculating how your money has been used up you realize that the things that you spent your money on are, are, are not even relevant are not even the things that you need sometimes god does things and you may never know. In fact, most times people do not know that God, it is God who has done them. People may not know that it is God who has rescued them. And then they start crying out, oh God, why have you left me? And yet God is the one in the process with you. When he sends that person to speak a word to you, when he sends that person to direct you, you may not recognize. But until you develop your ability to discern the voice of God, you will thank him for what he has done. Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this message. And if you have any word that you want to send to me, uh, you can send to me through the comment section. You can uh, send to me uh, your prayer request through my uh, email address or through my Facebook page. I will respond to you. And for those that want to uh, sow into this ministry, you want to be a part and parcel of this ministry through your giving, uh, through anything that you can give, you can send to me through my PayPal account. You can find my PayPal account uh, in the link in the description just below, or you can find it uh, in, in the about section of this channel. And God will bless you. God will see you through. Whatever you can send, you can send it. Some people may say that they have nothing to send. Even $5, $1, $10, whatever amount that you can send, whatever it has been placed in your ability to do, just do it and God will bless you. You are doing God's work. You are extending this gospel to the ends of the world. And until next time, Shalom.